Hello everyone, Commander Kingfish here, and I am uh, back making some videos. Uh, this is really going to be more of a kind of a test video. I'm going to see how it turns out. And as much uh, as a practice video. So let me kind of set the stage here. This is my spaceport. Uh, I've been playing this particular one for now. Uh, close to 150 200 hours I don't have jetpack and uh, I'm using the uh, scrap mod uh, so anything I grind down just turns to scrap so I get some of the resources back but I also uh, can't just uh, grind something down and move it so I just returned from space I need to get some ice and fill up my uh, space buggy and get it back over here and we can do this by uh, uh, hopping in and let me get started here this is actually my second main base I have another base that uh, is over on the other side of the mountains that I had to work to get to uh, let me get things started up here battery turn that on turn the thrusters on and uh, unlock this and let me make an adjustment here uh, options audio I think I need to turn that music down somewhat and we'll turn the sound down there we go that ought to do it Okay, uh, close, and let's go back in. Okay, let's go get some ice. I've been mining that over here. Uh, I'll get some uh, ice in here. We'll go back over to the space buggy and get it filled back up with fuel. I ran out of fuel as I was coming back down and from uh, space. That was my first attempt. I didn't record it. Uh, let's get these started. And uh, it, uh, it worked pretty well. Except I didn't find very many asteroids up there. So let's uh, get this uh, filled up. And then we can go over to the space buggy and fill it up. And then I can get it back over to the base. And oh, I'm already full of ice. So I think that's pretty close to it. So let's uh, let's uh, fly on over to the space buggy. Yeah, I was able to to get back down. I got to within about. Uh, 5,000 meters and pretty much ran out so I had parachutes on it so I was able to kind of finish uh, parachuting down landed over here uh, almost got back to base almost learned a few things on how I probably could have managed my fuel a little bit better since it's all hydrogen and uh, yeah it actually worked pretty good so I'm not going to continue this playthrough too much more because I've actually already kind of uh, done everything I wanted to do I'm just doing a video today just to kind of get everything back and kind of do a little tour of what I've actually done around here get uh, back up here I'm not very good. I'm better on the wheeled vehicles. This is my miner, as you can see, that I'm flying now, and then uh, it actually does pretty good. I've been pretty happy with it.
hopefully we can get connected up here. There we go. Alright, let's connect. And we can go ahead and turn these off. And then let me hop out. And then we'll make sure we can uh, get things set over here. Right. Uh, where'd my notes go? I gotta remember. All right. Uh, let's uh, actually, I think uh, we want to. We need to stockpile. And my batteries should already be on. Yep, they're on, so we should be good. And I should be starting to fill my hydrogen. Yep, we can see it uh, starting to fill down there in the lower right. So, we're, uh, we're getting this thing filled back up. As soon as we get filled up with hydrogen, we can get back over to the base. So, let's uh, do this. Let's just take a look at the hydrogen tanks. Filling away, filling away, filling away, filling away. So, very good. So, i tell you what, I will, uh, once we get these uh, tanks filled, I will be back and we will fly over, back over to the base, get both of these hooked up. And then I'll try to take you on a little tour on the other bases and kind of go from there. So, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. All right, I am uh, back. We've got uh, almost 50% uh, fueled up. That should be more than enough to get us back over to the base and get it connected up. And let's see if uh, I can uh, get this back up in the air. Uh, one of the things I don't like about having the controls, like going uh, over to Control 2, is knowing what is what. So right now, uh, I made a little key of all my uh, controls down there so I know which tank is which and being able to turn those on and off. So let's, uh, so uh, number seven is my stockpile on, number eight stockpile off. So now I should be able to turn my motors on. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And let's uh, unlock the gears here. There we go. And you can see uh, the space buggy actually isn't too bad. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Uh, not a lot of uh, armor and stuff on it. I didn't think I would need that. We'll get it over here. And let's go back inside. Let's kind of come down a little bit. All right. Its connection point is right here where we're zeroing in. Yeah, I'm not the best pilot in the world, but I can at least get around. So let's get these turned around. Turn around here. Let's get this down a little bit. Alright, let's see if we can kind of get this turned. 
get her lined up. Come on back. How are we doing? Let's come down a little more. Lock this. There we go. We're locked. All right. We should be able to do this now. I should be able to turn these off without falling. There you go. Those are all off. Let's turn stockpile back on. There we go. And then uh, we should be able to turn uh, those to recharge and we're locked in and we're good. All right, I'm gonna fall a little bit. This is uh, an occupational hazard. There we go. I need to, at some point, if I get to it, uh, add a bit of, uh, a base underneath here but it seems to be working pretty well so you can kind of see my uh, design I've got merge tanks or merge tanks I've got uh, merge blocks on each side so those are boosters so I use an atmospheric rocket uh, or thruster a large one to help give me boost to get up into space and then once I get past say about six seven thousand meters where that's not uh, doing any good then I eject those and you know it's a small price to pay so uh, it seemed to work pretty well and that gets rid of that e additional weight and then I got uh, two hydrogen tanks on each side I've got uh, a large thruster at the back of each one and then I've got uh, up thrusters and down thrusters uh, all around and then I've also got four medium cargo tanks they seem to be working pretty well so that's the space buggy that actually got me all the way up into space and I was able to uh, fly around up there I found a couple of asteroids but no uh, no minerals or no ores on them so that was a little disappointing I was hoping to maybe start a base up there so well like I said I've carried this out about as far as I can let me give you a little tour of this base. Uh, I've got a refinery uh, and then uh, a uh, assembler. I've got uh, a basic refinery right over here and a basic assembler. That's what I brought over to start with. And then uh, all of my supplies and stuff that I've been built and did most of my building here. Uh, this was designed to be a large container for ice. This is a spaceport refueling. So I got a couple of uh, H2O generators there. Uh, the two large tanks, which is stock, uh, stockpiled or turned off right now, which uh, I got one tank that's full. I can turn that back on. And let's see. Uh, I've got the solar panel, uh, which is generating uh, plenty of power for the base uh, and I've got it set up on a programmable block with Izzy's solar panel array uh, uh, script so it works really really well I also have uh, this is kind of uh, set this up as an office lounge with the idea that uh, they would be coming from the main base over here and so this is kind of got my battery supply in here uh, my uh, survival kit I put a survival kit over here figuring instead of a full-blown uh, bed bay and let's get charged up while we're here uh, this is airtight take the uh, face shield off 
and you can see that uh, I uh, can breathe in here. Uh, breathe and everything's high oxygen and warm. And uh, so I've got a uh, like a little uh, area so if this is a spaceport then anybody that traveling through here can stop um, nothing really you know spectacular not a big huge airport or anything like that uh, for the guys that are traveling over here from the main base that are working uh, a little overnight if they have to stay here a couple of days a couple of beds uh, a place to kind of lounge some lockers that sort of thing uh, more uh, lockers and whatnot over here. Uh, a little facility. Uh, you got the John and the Louvre and shower, uh, sink, countertops, uh, working doors. Again, this is uh, just really kind of a basic basic place a kitchen they can make a you know little dinner whatever for when they're here and that is the uh, kind of the spaceport oh yeah I suppose I should put that back on uh, I get used to not ever taking it off so uh, this is uh, my uh, Windmill Tower built this and we'll go up to the top. I haven't quite got this finished up here. I need to put railings all the way around for safety so you don't fall off. But I got four windmills up here working away. And uh, you can kind of see out over the whole area. And this really is the spaceport pretty happy with it you know I used a lot of uh, interior blocks because they were a lot cheaper on iron since I didn't necessarily have a lot of iron available uh, actually I did find quite a bit of iron here in the lake I was really struggling for iron when I get back over to the other base uh, as to what I had to do for it so we'll we'll uh, let's head over to the other base We'll take the Explorer. You've got to see the Miner. This is my little uh, kind of uh, Explorer runabout. Uh, it's got uh, basically uh, one uh, medium cargo, a couple of batteries on it, and a connector, and it can get you uh, from here to there, basically. So let's go ahead and uh, fly on over. So let's turn the batteries on. Let's turn our thrusters on. And let's uh, unlock, and we'll head head on out. So I didn't find this ice lake till I was actually able to make this little flyabout. This the uh, I call it the Explorer, and it is uh, pretty darn handy in getting around. The, I'm on the alien planet. I did an alien planet. Uh, again, using just scrap uh, and uh, no jetpack, and and that was the challenge with the no jetpack, trying to you know build your scaffolding and be able to uh, make your base. So there was some things that I did on the main base over here. Uh, hopefully, we can get around here before it gets too dark. Actually, I'll, fly, I'll do a fly over the main base and then uh, show you a couple of others and then really kind of come back and show you the main base in detail. So, we're not that far. We're only a few kilometers away from it. Uh, but it's up over here in the valley. One of the challenges that I had was trying to... Well, I was building wheeled vehicles and they work fine over here in the valley but as you can see 
the terrain was just really so rugged that you weren't going to be able to really kind of drive around and that's where the flying craft has really come in handy so yeah so once I got uh, got that going it was pretty good and we're coming down into the valley I did manage to find one gold mine and one silver mine fortunately where I set up my main base was a lot of resources there except for iron I really had to struggle on and hunt for iron so let's see we're gonna just kind of fly down in through over here As the day's getting away from us, uh, I wanted to fly over so I uh, managed to find some iron once I got over here and started getting set up. I managed to find some iron up here in this valley. Matter of fact, I came my original drop pod or my original place that I dropped was uh, a little bit farther up here and we'll do a fly over it and then we'll come back and take a quick look at the uh, mining that I have set up. So this was the original temporary base that I uh, put in when I first came in. So I basically, let's go ahead and just sit down here real quick. Alright, let's lock that in and turn these off. Alright. So, as you can see, it was real basic. I originally had meteors turned on, and I've since turned them off because they got to be kind of a pain and really kind of annoying more than anything. Uh, I'd already had my protections in, ba in place. But I had a basic refinery and a basic assembler here, and I was able to pretty much create all of my uh, main parts that I needed. Uh, was able to run the scaffolding up and we'll kind of go up here Ooh, almost slipped up there so yeah this was here and I had to kind of put these in just to get the two windmills up here but but they worked pretty well so let's uh, head back down we're starting to run out of daylight Let's get back down here. And I'll kind of show you where my stone mine was. Uh, this is where I really did a lot of mining, as you can see. Really had to do a lot of digging out, so pretty big rock quarry here. All right, well, let's head back up to the Uh, to the iron mine so I would come in I would uh, back up this side slope and my original mine was straight up above you can kind of see the entrance right there straight straight dead ahead that was uh, the entrance there then I found, was able to kind of move down and let's uh, drop down over here. Let's 
lock and we'll turn those off so then I was able to come up here so I would drive the buggy up here connect up I had a turret to protect against the meteors and had the windmill and then had a connector and a small cargo container in here and then this was the uh, iron mine so I've I mined all of this out in here all the way up into here and the other mine the other iron mine was just about as big so really had to pull a lot of iron out of here for building to what I did so anyway that's the iron mine and that's the setup I had here uh, let's get back down to the other base again I gotta fix this uh, I'll get back to this one here and these let's go over here so this was the uh, I managed to drag the survival pod over to here and so that's what I managed to keep this alive because uh, I couldn't find any silver so I had to keep this going because all I had was the uh, survival kit on here in case I uh, got hurt or anything uh, so far I haven't died in this and I kind of contribute to the fact that I don't have jetpacks. I usually always die once or twice be just because I either forget how much hydrogen I have in the jetpack or I just crash into something. So I had uh, built built this base. This is uh, this is my first vehicle. This is like a utility vehicle. Uh, same with the Explorer that I was able to get around in and hauled a lot of ore with. Then I built this over here. This is my uh, this is my land-based uh, drill for basically drilling stone. Which over in the mountainside over there, I have a uh, a rock quarry over there. So when I needed uh, supplies, uh, so that's those vehicles. This vehicle was supposed to be like a crane. It never worked very well. It did a little bit, but basically it's just kind of sitting there as a museum piece. Uh, I got uh, upgrades on all of my uh, refineries. I got two, actually two assemblers right here that's all connected. And then I got two refineries and both of them all have upgrades. I got a battery room which never quite fully got finished uh, but I've got uh, all these batteries so I was able to store power uh, when uh, the wind slowed down or whatever uh, I got two this is my first windmill that I put together in over here and we'll go up to the top here uh. So two windmills over on this side. I had to kind of work with the scaffolding on here and uh, managed to get these in place. So it was a little oddball, but it was in place and producing energy. So there's that. Uh, you can see the other scaffolding tower over there. It's much cleaner. That's my hangar that you're looking at right straight ahead. And then, uh, yeah, we'll end up doing a tour over and in there. So. All right, let's kind of go down from here. I also got scaffolding and, and catwalks and stuff to get up to the top of here. You uh, can see the uh, large container that was for ores and whatnot coming in. Over there in the distance is a turret for uh, the meteors coming in. And then uh, some of the uh, outbuildings, which we'll, we'll check each of those out. And let's see. So this was, this is the uh, med bay. I actually got a full-blown uh, medical uh, room in here. Uh, it's uh, uh, airtight as well, a couple of beds, a desk, a uh, place to sit there. And so yeah, that's the medical room. Uh, 
this is the <coughs> this is the dining area basically uh, where you can eat and kind of converse and whatnot. Again, all airtight. And I never did get those automated. I could have uh, put sensors in on those doors, but I, I just didn't get, get to that. Uh, this is the living facilities, living quarters. And it is all airtight. Uh, this is uh, basically where the where I got the oxygen tank and the H O2 and the uh, air vent and whatnot set up in here. And a lavatory facilities again, uh, commode, uh, shower. Uh, a sink and whatnot in here. And then this is the uh, kind of uh, uh, the bedrooms where you can sleep, hang out. You got your lockers right there. A little place to sit. And in the recreation area, a uh, couple of armories, little space invaders. That's a mod pack that uh, uh, I use just for decorative stuff and a pool table. So yeah, that's the living area. I think the last place we got to go is the hangar. Now I sunk these into the ground, as you can see. Let me kind of hop up here. Uh, I sunk those down just because it was uh, uh, made a difference in not having a jetpack. So I was able to, and I didn't have to do a lot of scaffolding. So they're still kind of above ground, but uh, by being able to do that, then it was easy enough to get around to be able to build build my buildings. And then finally the uh, hangar. So here's the hangar. It is airtight as you can see. We can take the face uh, shield off. Uh, this is where I built a couple of my Flying vessels, the Explorer and the Miner was all built in here. Got a, uh, uh, this is, this here is kind of a entrance lounge, I guess you could call it, coming in. Uh, this controls the airtight doors along with the hydrogen tank. So we can, let me uh, close my visor. So if we turn that off, that turns off the oxygen tank and stuff. And then we can uh, open the hangar doors, and you can see them opening. And then we will uh, close them up, and as soon as they're closed, then we will turn these back on. And you can see it's already starting to filter in. You can see the air uh, filtering back in. And it should here shortly be airtight again as once that gets done. Uh, we're all ready to warm. And now, there we go, high oxygen. And we can take the shield off again. So that, that's working not too bad. So this is kind of an office. Uh, I actually did some remote control from here. That's why that's here in the console. Uh, little office kind of looking out over everything. 
And why don't I sit here and get charged up? So you can kind of see what uh, kind of overlooking. Uh, all right. Oh, where are we at here? Okay. And then these were just catwalks that I used to help kind of build and build this out. And same thing on the other side. Uh, let's go out and look at the last couple of vehicles out there. And that'll be about it. That'll be about the tour. I kind of wanted to show it off. That's what this video is all about. Is just uh, making a video of the many hours of work that I've put in on this particular build. And like I said, I'm not going to do too much more. I think I'm about done with this. And so I'm going to start working on another project. So you've seen these vehicles over here. I think the last vehicle to talk about is this one here. Uh, this is what helped me find the last of my iron and other th resources. Although I pretty much found all the resources before I built this, this has got a huge iron detector on it and some uh, medium cargo containers and batteries and whatnot. And basically the idea is to kind of help try to find some ores. So that's that. And so that's the base. That's the alien base. We're uh, building up on an alien base. And my goal was to kind of get to the point that I could escape into space. And I did that. Uh, I could have carried it on and built some, build another space port up, up there on an uh, asteroid. But you know what? I'm kind of uh, done with this and looking forward to doing my next project. So... Uh, let's uh, just kind of head back over here inside. And we'll sit here in the lounge chair, have a Klein Cola, and let's call this uh, video good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I kind of enjoyed making it. I haven't made any for quite some time and just kind of decided it was time to start making some more and see if I can't revive the YouTube channel. So this is my first video back uh, doing a little Space Engineers. And again, I'm not sure. My next project might be the Outer World since it just came to Steam. So I'm just trying to get set up. I wanted to do a video today to uh, just start uh, kind of getting things uh, going on it. So with that, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned for more. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. Talk to you all later. Bye.